just sitting in just sitting here in the car because it's raining outside waiting on Cheryl coming with the umbrella thank you darling you're welcome for a big massive golf umbrella now let's do this thing so which one today's agenda okay so we were going to do some gardening this weekend yep. it's raining now of course so hopefully it'll clear up a little bit later on and um hopefully yeah as you all know, Cheryl's got me doing gardening every weekend. <laughs> every single weekend. That's because our yard looks terrible. Yeah. Apparently this guy in front of us here doesn't realise that he's got to stop for pedestrians. Thank you very much, mate. Him there. <laughs> Seriously, he's supposed to stop. It was a yield sign. And he just kept going and kept going. So, okay. We still got to get wet in here. It rains on the plants so they get watered. Alright, well we're going to have a look about because Cheryl's looking for some... Cactus. Cactus and what else? Uh, maybe some succulents. Succulents. Is that not like a ghost? Like a spirit? No. No, like a succubus? Oh. Okay. <laughs> they kind of sound the same. <laughs> so... <laughs> we will go have a look. Well hello there, Craig the Scottish guy here and welcome to my channel. As you can see, Cheryl is just here. Hey! It's a very wet, cold, miserable day here in Texas. Honestly, it's... Look at the weather channel. It says we're to get rain for the next seven days straight. So, yeah, that's, that's fun. But anyway, we're just looking at some plants. I don't know, I, to be honest, I don't like gardening. At all. I'm not really a plant person. It's a Cheryl's department. I'm just a workhorse. I just do all the digging, moving everything, you know, putting rocks, stuff, and all that, and making the, the front garden and the back garden looking good for Cheryl. Yeah, look at this weather. But actually, in the um, garden section here in Walmart, I think we're going to head to Home Depot soon. But at the moment, I'm actually just trying to stay out of the rain because it is pouring here. I'm going to go check the barbecue pits. This right here, this is a bad boy that I want. Got to be honest, I've never owned a barbecue pit in my life, ever. But um, I've always wanted something like this. Now years ago, actually, back in Scotland, my parents did have a barbecue pit like these, but it's um smaller. Um, they got theirs from a place called um, B and Q, which is just like Home Depot. So that's the only barbecue pit. A we as a family ever had growing up and so I said it was smaller than that. But I really like these big bad boys here. I sent Craig off to actually get us a shopping cart. So I planted some annuals in our front yard and when we were in Scotland they all died. So I'm not very actually good at gardening. I know Craig said that was my department, um, but I just want our yard to look nice. So I have to learn. <laughs> but what I really do like is cactus and succulents. So we're gonna try to pick out some stuff today and maybe improve the curb appeal of the front yard, which is non-existent right now. Let's go over here and look at some of the bigger cactus. I think I'm going to get an aloe vera for sure and something really pokey, you know, just for fun. I'll tell you which ones I want to put in the buggy. Okay. 
I want one of each color of the moon cactus. Okay, one of each color. So try to get one that actually looks good. What about this? That I don't good. know, that one's a little small. There's a red one on the front that looks really good. That one? No, 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 closer to you. This one? That one, yeah. It's a little tilted, but it looks good. Um, see any yellows that you like? Yeah, they're more towards the middle, I think. Like this one here? Yeah. Okay. Be careful. You might hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah. I don't want any injuries in the making of this vlog. No Craigs were injured during this vlog. So Craig actually just hurt himself. I told you to be careful. Caught myself. Caught myself. They're, they really are sharp. Yeah. All right. That actually caught me good. Aww. Um, All right, one more, a pink one. See any pink ones you like? Uh, maybe the one by the, it's like the price tag on the right hand side. Yeah. Yeah, that one's good. This one? The that one to the left, that's perfect. All right, and we'll grab a few more things and we should be good to go. Are you okay? Yes. All right. Our daughter has been wanting a fish tank for a long time. And we've really been thinking about getting her one. She really likes um, these ones here. Every time we come in here, she says, Daddy, can I go see the fishies take a bath? Pretty cute, makes me laugh every time. The fish is taking a bath. But yeah, so we're maybe thinking for our birthday coming up soon or maybe Christmas that Santa can maybe get her a fish tank and get her some nice fish. So I says she likes these guys here. The glow in the dark ones, she's all about everything it's um like neon colours and lights up in the dark. stuff to go in the fish tank maybe except for this that would not go in there definitely not kind of digging all the neon glow-in-the-dark stuff Food. Cheryl's been feeding me lately. <laughs> On a butt food diet. Yeah, whatever. No, we're gonna go home and put that in our bird feeder. Uh, gold from Barella. It's not raining right this second, so that's good. Which, by the way, I gotta tell you, we bought this one just last week. Yeah. At uh, Home Depot. And it costs five dollars. Five dollars for a grown-up umbrella. For a massive golf-size umbrella. This, before that, all I had was the kind that you know pop backwards whenever you go out in the rain and the wind. It's all cheap. Five <laughs> all right, we're gonna go to Bahama Bucks. Yeah, it's just a new place opened up in town. I've never been there. I'm looking to benefit this bucket. Uh, well, there seems to be a congregation of buggies over there. So yeah, uh, but that is not the buggy. Location where you're supposed to put the buggy depository. What? That's what I was actually going to say. That I don't really <laughs> see this thing. There's one way over there. Okay, I'll uh, just go there. I'll get you in the car in like half an hour. Half an hour. All right, got it. Just about to head inside Bahama Box. Apparently, it is a snow cone place and does smoothies. And it only top what maybe less than a month. Yeah. yeah. I just get tired of talking. Did you? Yeah. You're I just like, like blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Coffee. And I seriously just get tired of talking. I'm going inside. <laughs> I got myself the baby-sized shaved ice. And uh, it's the toasted coconut with cream flavour. Uh, oh. uh, Which pretty fancy. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah, the spoon changes colours too. Oh, brain freeze. 
please. Did you get brain freeze? Yeah. Have you recovered from your brain freeze? <laughs> That's all. I would try it again. This is extremely cold. It is freezing. It tastes good though. Awesome. It tastes like coconut and cream. This one's mine. It's watermelon shaved ice with Jolly Rancher sprinkles. Awesome. That looks nice. The watermelon. That's good. The Jolly Rancher sprinkles. It's my happy dance. <laughs> Looks like you're enjoying it. <laughs> Can I get a bit? <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Okay. Cheryl's enjoying that ice cream. Ice cream? I, well, what is it? Shaved ice. Shaved ice. I do have to tell on myself though, I tried to blow on it. <laughs> yeah, she thought it was hot ice cream and blew I on did. it. <laughs> I don't know. It was like it was so cold I needed to cool it down. Seriously, have you ever seen anybody blow on ice cream? <laughs> Actually impressed. Yeah. Thought it was pretty good. I liked it. Even though I get brain freeze for the first ten seconds of taking a bite. It was also freezing in there, so yeah. eating a shaved ice probably wasn't. Yeah, eating shaved ice in a place where it was absolutely freezing was a bit weird. Yeah, but it was good. Really liked it. I think we come back. Yeah, uh, pretty noisy as well though, was it? It was a lot of music in the background. And the like grinding of the ice. The song. grinding of the ice sometimes was pretty noisy, but all in all. Yeah, definitely come back. It's good. So I think we're we all done. Mm -hmm. Please tell me we're done. We're done. No more plants. Now we have to go and uh, actually do the gardening work. Oh, okay. But we don't need to buy any more stuff. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, as always, mission accomplished.